complaints about the federal government's focus on Ukraine, while pressing domestic issues go unaddressed, resonate deeply with conservative values tied to government responsibility and the safeguarding of national sovereignty. The argument often centers around the idea that a government's first duty is to its own citizens, not to foreign entanglements or aid programs that may not directly serve the national interest. The notion that resources are being funneled away in the midst of a domestic crisis underscores a belief that the government should be putting its people first. All right, whoa, so I'm down here with uh, Bernie Jack, state rep, Nellis, uh, Seminole and Largo, yep, right? Seminole Largo area, District 59. We're down here at Sunset Beach, just doing a little cleanup. I woke up today and I told, said to myself, my MAGA hat's looking a little, a little too clean. <laughs> too clean, too clean, my man. So, uh, tell us a little bit about like, the devastation we just saw. Uh, like, it's, witness. It's, it's pretty bad. This is record levels of flooding that we've never seen before in our area. Uh, worst storm in any of our lifetimes. And um, then the community's pitching that. The community's coming together. Uh, the amount of storm surge sure. up to like eight feet. I mean, it, it's. I it's, know it's, that it's, house, yeah, man. It's pretty that, wild. The water line was up to our chest. It was pretty wild, yeah. So, I'm just glad that we have a great community of people who are pitching to come out and help those who are less fortunate and certainly this evening we did that we sure did and we noticed too that like contractors and residents weren't even allowed to go into their own homes yet just to do the cleanup yeah so recently they've been allowing residents to come in but residents came to bring in their own vehicles right i mean because the sand yeah. is like sky high it's like snow bank. yeah and so it's not easy to move around so we're blessed that we're able to work with mayor tyler Payne here treasure island uh, to get us out and um we made a dent we helped a lot of people people were grateful um, thank you, Kevin. I mean, I appreciate you and all of our volunteers that came out. We can organize these things, but it means nothing if people don't actually give up their time to come out. So I really Remember appreciate that. it. Yeah, likewise. We saw we saw DeSantis and Ana Luna. They were yeah, up, yeah. up north a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's great to see the communities getting together. Uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We were, we were with the governor earlier yeah. today, and, um, you know, look, it's, it's all hands on deck. All hands on deck, everybody helping out. We're not waiting. We're not waiting for the funding because we all know it's going to no, other places right no, now. Exactly, exactly. We know the federal government has their priorities misaligned, but here in the free state of Florida, we're going to put our people first. We're going to invest in our people, and we're not going to leave our people behind. These concerns reveal a broader anxiety about the government's failure to meet its most fundamental obligations, protecting its citizens and ensuring their welfare. When people feel their government is acting out of step with their needs, Disillusionment sets in, leaving many fearful for the future. This failure to prioritize citizens' well-being breeds deep distrust, especially during times of crisis. The discussion between Bernie Jacques and Kev Posobiec highlights a significant shift toward valuing self-reliance and community involvement over dependence on government assistance. Their focus on local efforts to help storm victims reflects a belief that communities must take ownership of their circumstances, especially when government response is delayed or insufficient. This can be seen as an endorsement of individual responsibility and collective action, hallmarks of conservative thought, where communities step up to help one another instead of waiting for outside assistance. The residents of St. Pete Beach, Florida, exemplify this ethic rallying together in the wake of disaster, embodying a sense of independence and mutual aid in the absence of immediate governmental support. The conversation touches on deeper psychological needs for security and stability, as the chaos of record floods and storm surges leaves residents feeling displaced and confused. In times of natural disaster, the government's role is to ensure the safety and security of its people. Yet, the frustration over federal support being directed abroad, while domestic recovery is seemingly neglected, raises concerns that the government is shirking this fundamental duty. This sense of abandonment fuels fears that the very systems and institutions meant to protect citizens are failing, leaving them vulnerable to forces far beyond their control. When individuals feel abandoned by their government in favor of foreign interests, it heightens feelings of alienation and insecurity. The looming fear that they may not be able to rely on the institutions designed to protect them when disaster strikes only deepens the sense of vulnerability. Such anxieties underscore a growing distrust in the government's ability or willingness to fulfill its responsibilities to its people.